jungle is full of terrifying beasts, snakes, spiders, pigeons, and we're about to meet the person who takes care of them all. Please welcome Critter Ben. Yay! Oh, Ben, you are you know that I love talking to you. I got excited when I read that you're coming in. I'm like, yes, Ben's here. <laughs> now, you and your team have been really busy since we last saw you. We've seen loads of critters over the past few days, especially in tonight's trial. So, first of all, let's talk about that lizard. Yes. <laughs> so that's Perry. He's one of our parentes. Oh, Perry. So Parentes are a big monitor lizard found here in Australia. They're the biggest lizard we've got. He's going to grow to about three metres long. Oh, my God. Yeah, so... Now, I did notice that Perry was in there on his tod. Yeah. Does he... Can you not...? Parentes are a reptile-eating lizard, so he eats snakes and other lizards. So Hang to on, keep... whoa, whoa. Perry eats himself? Well, he'll eat... He would eat another Parenti if the, if the um, situation arose, so we keep them by themselves. And in the trials, that's why he works by himself, to keep yeah, him safe and the other lizards. You wouldn't want to be getting a star while they were trying to eat themselves, no, would you? No, no, that's a bit No hard. one wants that. Uh, it's not just the critters in the trials that have been getting the attention of the camp mates. Take a look at this. There was a bird from so early on, which sounded like a dog. It was like a... Oh! A dog bird isn't a thing. Yeah, no, not a dog bird. Oh. We do have cat birds, but no <laughs> dog birds. What that bird is, though, is a bird called an eastern coal. They're a really cool bird. He's making that noise to find a girl, and they make that noise even more when it's about to rain. So hearing that may mean we're going to get some rain in camp. Oh, so they're like a weather alarm. Yeah, so up in Queensland, <laughs> we call them storm birds. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Yeah, so that, that's the male there that and the girls so are brown. That would be so handy to have because then you'd be like, do you want to eat a jacket, bird? And then if it was <laughs> quiet, you know. you'd be like, oh, no, I don't need one. I love that. Yeah. Handy really little cool fella. Little bird. Uh, we've got another bird as well. It caught Anne's attention. There's always so many birds that seem to have so much to say. I wish they'd just chirp like, you know, birds. I thought <laughs> earlier this morning I was hearing what I called the look here bird. It was all going, look here. Here, and I haven't seen it, I just heard it. So, what is the look here bird? <laughs> look, what is that? Look here is one of our eastern whip birds. So, that's the male making that noise. He goes, <whistles> and the female. That she'll was a better impression yep. than what Andrew said. <laughs> and the, the female will whistle back, going, <whistles> So, they will whistle at each other. Yeah, that's it, to try and attract a mate. Oh, I like that. And it's got a little crest that sticks up as well. They're cute birds, actually. I didn't expect them to sound like that. No, they're only about this big. Oh. Well, Ben, the last time you were here, we fell in love with a very cute animal sound. Let's have another listen. <laughs> it sounds like a Nerf gun. I've got run away, doesn't it? It sounds like <laughs> years bit. of quest. But it is a baby croc. Now, these guys have featured a fair bit recently. And you've actually brought one today, haven't you? Yeah, so we've brought little Graham with us today. Oh, little Graham. He's one of our oh, estuarine crocodiles that we have here on site. Oh, my God, Graham, you're so cute. So we've... Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him. <laughs> so, oh, Ben, you're so cute. So we've got about 21 crocodiles here on site and we've got 12 little ones like Graham here. So he's only about 30 centimetres long now but he's, he's going to grow cute. to six metres long. That's not cute. No, and weigh, and weigh just under a 1,000 kilos, just under a tonne. So I'm not going to be doing this What? Thing. Yeah, he could grow to be the biggest reptile in the world. So we could be looking at a Guinness Book record. Definitely. Like, Graham could end up being in there for the biggest croc as I Biggest croc. <gasps> they look so cute. They, they are they really little, cute. don't they? Yeah, his eyes and nose all on the top of his head, so he can sit underwater with those three points showing and jump up and grab his food. Oh, my God. God. You wouldn't even see him out there. The, the how, so you've got 21 little baby crocs on site. So we've got site, 21 crocs say. total on site. So we've got 12 at Graham size. We've got eight that are a little bit bigger. And then Jeff, our big crocodile as well. Oh, here. we all know Jeff. Yeah. I, I'm <laughs> pleased that he wasn't coming on. <laughs> I wouldn't be just sat here as comfortable as this. That's crazy. So how old is he? Uh, so he's about nine months old now. Um, so he'll probably double in size in the next year and then come back for another year and then he'll move back to a, to a crocodile facility up north. Oh, my God. Well, Ben, as ever, it's been absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much, and thanks also to Graham. I can't wait to see more of him in the upcoming trials. It's Ben and Little Graham, everyone. Thank you. Yay.